hello and welcome to our Facebook Live this morning. Good morning, my name is Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in Brackley in the UK. Thank you for joining me this morning. If you're watching me live then do pop on and say hi make a comment so that i know that you're there and i can interact with you if you're watching on replay or catch up obviously i can't interact with you at the time but i'm more than happy to answer any questions you have or assist you or reply to any comments so those are all read um later in the day so you're always welcome to make any comments and join me good morning Jeanette lovely to have you join us this morning so today's card um, is actually using one of the free celebration sets called approaching perfection it's a fun little stamp set because it's full of sentiments and it has just two little images here and this sort of set is great for all ages, uh, for men and women, young and old, because you can be stamping the images as a, um, stamping the sentiments really as a background, including the images, or you can focus on the images, entirely up to you. Now the inspiration for today's card has actually come from a card I made um, oh, probably about two weeks ago which is this one using the many messages stamp set and this is a single stamp that creates all of these sentiments um, this one is just stamped and i've added a few on top and then this one i've stamped and die cut out and then relayed them back in the order that i want them and this one obviously is a birthday one um, but there's lots of other sentiments on the set so I thought what I could do is recreate that using approaching perfection and it means that I can change the colours of the individual stamps as I go along so I've got a little bit of flexibility. I can obviously include the candles, I can include the balloons and colour those in in any um, colourway that I like. So this is my plan, I haven't um, tried it so it's another one in my head getting very dangerous this isn't it hello carol um so what i plan to do is um pick out these stamps so i'm not going to use the bad news is i forgot your birthday the good news is i forgot your age um that would be good to have inside if you're sending a belated birthday card so i'm going to focus on these other ones because they're all a similar sort of size maybe this one isn't um but that would work actually underneath the happy birthday maybe um, so my plan is to stamp these up um, on a sheet of card just changing the sentiments to fill the whole card um, so let's give that a go the nice thing is I can choose as many colors as I want I could do it single color if I wanted to and I could actually recreate this one by setting the whole thing up on the Stamparatus if I wanted using the sentiments that I've got now this would be a really easy card to recreate with your own sentiment stamps um, most of you if you're my stamping up customers will have plenty of sentiments so this might be one that you could do using that you could also use small images this particular set, as I say, is free in celebration. Quite a few of my customers have selected this. Um, I love the, the sentiments. I like the news flash. Um, if things really do get better with age, you're approaching perfection. Um, so, you know, some fun sentiments, really. So the first thing I've got to do is choose my um, colour combination. And I think I'm just going to take um, these colours again um, so I've got melon mambo Bermuda Bay and old olive now I don't know what um, state those colors of, of inks are so I'm going to grab those colors um, if you can think of some other color, color combinations 
then let me know and I'll do a second one in a different choice of colours. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> so I've got Melon Mambo. Oh, Olive. Actually, I might switch that for Granny Apple Green and Bermuda Bay. So these three, actually it's Granny Apple Green, are all from our Brights collection. So that's what I'm going to use. I've already put the labels on the stamps. I haven't stamped them up as of today. So um, let's give them a go. So I am going to actually stamp on a spare piece of card. I've got one here. Um, just so I can see how they're going to look and how my ink pads are looking. I do still need to re-ink my pads. That was something I was going to do over Christmas. Never got round to. Hey ho. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp these to see um, how they're looking in the colours that I've selected. Um, I have a chamois ready, but I don't know what I've done with it. And I still haven't my, found my box of bling for those that were with me yesterday. Oh dear. I have, um, that's perfect. I have a, um, a magic craft room that, you know, just swallows things up. Obviously, I put that slightly wonky on the block. Let me go and grab my um, chamois. Excuse me. I had it ready. I've got another one. There we go. Whoops. Okay. Right, so all I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to wipe that down just so that I can put it straight on the block. As you can see, that's extremely wonky. So let's just lift that up. So I'm going to put the block flat on here. Let's move it up so you can see it, like so. Oh, good, Yuta. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Oh dear, I and mean, it's not like it's a small box either. It's really frustrating, but hey ho, I'm sure it will turn up somewhere along the line. Okay, so let me just stamp that again so I can see that I've got that um, better aligned. Let's just put that. perfect so that one I know is going to be a good choice of color and then I've got happy birthday let's do that in men and mambo now I don't know how many of these I'm actually going to get on my um, card Let me just straighten that so all I'm doing is putting my block on my grid paper in line with the grid paper and then looking through the looking sort of at the stamp um, image not the shape of the stamp itself okay let's have a look at that so I hope everybody is well this morning let's just try this one so again I'm just going to I'm lining up the block rather than the stamp. Yep, that's not too bad. The colour's all right as well. Good. And then we've got this one here. If things really do get better with age, you're approaching perfection. So let me try that on there in Granny Apple Green. Now the balloon and the candles, I can stamp... Um, well, the candles are self-coloured, so I could colour those with different pens. And the balloon I'm going to stamp in early espresso and then colour in, because it's an, um, an open balloon. That's my plan. So, that looks alright. Not quite straight on my block, though. 
So I have to say, I think all of our snow has now gone with the rain that we had last night. It was hanging on yesterday, no, no trouble at all. And then the rain in the night has um, removed it. There we go. Okay, so I just want to do this to see if it's lined up properly. There we go. Yep, that one works. Let me just grab espresso. So I'm literally just going to, um, you know, layer these over. I have no idea um, size-wise, so I might have to have... Um, A second go, not whether I'm going to do these straight or like so. Cute. Little balloons are always useful, all ages, aren't they? Um, let's just colour that in with. Morning, Pauline. I hope you're keeping well. Yeah, that will work nicely. Okay, and then finally I've got my candle. So I'm just stamping out um, the stamps from a celebration set that I'm going to use just so I can see what they look like falling because I haven't used these ones before. And let's just do the candles. And they're all at sort of jaunty angles, so yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Okay, it's always a good idea with a new stamp set, if you have the time, um, to stamp them out. And especially on a piece of card that you can keep in your um, box. Oh, bless you. <laughs> um, you can keep them in your box ready, but you just get a feel for um, what they will look like and also what um, punches will fit them for example okay yeah nice sentiments and they stamp really nicely okay right um how's my shoulder mm. <laughs> i was hoping it was going to be better but it doesn't feel much better today i'm afraid and i was up in the night in pain but um i'm on painkillers now so i'm always hopeful Right, thank you for asking, Carol. Right, I'm going to do my news flash first. And I want to do this one, this one at the bottom. Or should I start in the middle? Oh, choices. Um, or at the top. going to be daring and I'm thinking I could do this with the candles either side so I'm just leaving enough space above it hopefully okay news flash candles candles that's my first um, plan and obviously you could do these in um, colours for a football team, you could do them in male colours to suit the recipient really. There we go. Okay, happy with that. Right. And then I'm thinking just to have these sort of offset, really. So, um, let's do that one there. In green. Okay. So 
so this is granny apple green and I just took the colours from my other um, card as inspiration okay and I'm just cleaning these off in case I mix up the um, the colours so my happy birthday is a bit big for that one so I could do one at the bottom one at the top and what did I do my happy birthday in here melon mambo I'm to do it in Bermuda. So I'm actually bringing this in just a little way and I'm lining it up with the grid paper, not with the um, not with the stamp because I put that label on completely wonky this morning. Do the same one up here. So make sure you're moving your card around to make the most of it so that you're um, not straining at an angle or anything. Especially when you do what I do and pull a muscle. There we are. Okay, now I can add some balloons. So I'm going to put some in here. Let me shut this up for a minute. Let's do that. So I've already cut this to size. Um, which is 10 centimeters by 14.35 but I might trim it further and add in a colored layer so let us see I don't think it'll matter if the balloons go off the edge Oops. I'm going to do them at different heights Oh, <laughs> nearly stepped my mobile phone then instead of the ink pad and one here mm. I might trim that edge off so let's put one in here So I'm thinking, going to do the same here, oh actually I've got plenty of height haven't I, so, um, but I might, I might use a pen for that to bring this um, down a little bit. So let me wipe that off. Oh, I could just ink it up and wipe the bottom bit. Let's try it and see. Just going to try it on here. So I've inked that up. And I'm just going to take that bottom bit off there. There's lots of different ways you can um, change the stamp. You could use a post-it note to cover it, for example. That'd be another way to do it. Let's put it next to this one and see. Yep, that will work, won't it? Just make sure if you are wiping it off that you use something wet and you just make sure it's you know then dry, otherwise you'll get a little bit of a mark carried over. So let's do that. Like so drawing it with my finger. So I'm thinking up here. One. I'm 
sorry if I'm in a little bit of shadow there as I'm stamping that. I'm not sure how much of that you can see if I just bring it up a little bit closer. And okay. Okie dokie, Pauline. I hope you had your coffee. Just going to dry that with my finger a little bit, like so. And then, what should we put in there? I could do another news flash because those are a bit big. I mean, obviously, you could find some other small stamps, for example, I've still got on my desk this little rose from yesterday so why don't we do that as it's here little rosebud there we go so you could be um, quite accurate in your stamping and work out what you want where I'm just going to stamp this one off first Or you could do it completely random and I'm thinking I'm going to do that melon mambo as well just want to see yeah. there we go so perfect if you've got lots of small images and plenty of sentiments so look out for sentiments that are similar sort of sizes like so and the other thing you could do is um, very similar to my original design here is um, punch out and lift up some of the sentiments so if you have for example one that was wonky and you wanted to correct that you could just stamp it and either punch it if you had a suitable punch or you could um, just cut it out um, to fit I'm just thinking I'm going to put two more I want to put two more balloons in there because it's a bit of a gap but not big enough to add anything else so let's just do that so this is a great way of um, using your existing stamps so have a look through your stash I'm going to do some crafting later today have a look through your um, stash of sentiments um, so any of our sentiment sets would work for this so for this one here, another way you can link this up is by just taking the stamp and only using that edge of the ink pad. That's another way to um, ink it up like that. You don't want to have to wipe it off your ink pad, off your stamp rather. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to colour in my balloons and I think I might do them alternate colours, Bermuda Bay and um, Melon Mambo, just that they match up. Whoops, Daisy. So I've got light Bermuda Bay. So it's quite a small area. I'm just going to bring that round and leave a sort of comma like so okay. so around the edges it's quite a small area so I'm not going to worry about doing any um, blending or anything so leave a little comma like so One, 
do the same with this one. I could have switched these around and put the ones at the top in Man and Mambo, but never mind. Two and three. Than these in Manamambo. So I basically got the three colours, the bit of espresso in there for the outline. And obviously, you could do this on a bigger scale. If you've got larger sentiments and larger images, do that on a much larger card. Do it on an A5 card or a square card. Uh, would equally be nice. Oh, thank you, Jeanette. I'm sure it will be fine. It will pass. There we go. So there's my base card. I think what I'm going to do is trim it up here and across here and then layer it onto um, one colour and then put it onto another colour card. So I could put it onto Bermuda Bay and then a Men and Mambo card or I could just pick out one of the colours and put it onto white. Um, not quite sure which one I'll do. So this will now be nine and a half. I'm just going to scoot just a little bit over and trim the other side as well. So I don't want to get it too close to here. Um, actually, I could take it off the bottom here, even that up nicely. And then, let's see if I can do that. So it's literally just a millimetre on that side, give or take. And I'm just using the line there that I can see to know that I'm not going to cut onto my image. There we go. So um, I wonder... Bermuda Bay underneath or Melon Mambo first? Let me have a look. Can't actually find a Bermuda Bay card base. Can you believe that? So that's um, Coastal Cabana, and then I'm thinking a Man and Mambo layer between the two, see what you think. I could reverse it round. So pink onto blue, more, well it is quite a girly card actually because these are in pink aren't they? Or could do it that way around. What do you think? Oh yes, Calypso Coral, Gorgeous Grape and Mango Melody would be nice. So Men and Mambo Base or Coastal Cabana Base? That's the Coastal Cabana. I don't think there's much in it actually, is there? I mean, I could just do it with only espresso between the two, pink on blue, like that. 
as it's quite girly, isn't it? Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to, yes, yeah, so I'm going to use the melon man, but why not? So let's just cut this piece down. to 14.35 by 10 oh didn't do a very good job of that did I I'm sure I think this um, blade does need replacing but I'll just do that for the moment problem is I have different um, guillotines and I should really stick to one and then I'd know which one which one I need to replace so this is our layer like so yeah that's pretty fun isn't it looks quite different when it's layered up I was thinking oh that actually looks really quite boring but it does look different when it's layered up so let's layer this and um, it would be really nice to add some bling if I could just find my box of bling I've got some pearls here but they're not the right colour at all there we go ah brilliant Yes, so I did, um, let me show you the, I don't know if you saw the beginning sample, Yuta. Um, doo -doo -doo. This one here. So you can actually add in the numbers. If you've got the um, Playful Alphabet set, the dies, you, what I did on, if you look at Elaine's um, anniversary card, I added in not Elaine, Sam's, I added in the numbers as well to split it up and that was quite nice with a playful alphabet set but yes, yeah, so it'd be good good for a 21st, wouldn't it? okay, and let's put this one in ah, oh, perfect if you have a look um, it might be in our gems group if not, it's on in the demo group um, one that's got numbers in as well but I'm sure you could you know do your own version anyway so there we go what do you think I think I might put the sentiment um, inside um, so what if you're a year older you're fabulous and happy birthday so I'm going to add those two layers in which is this one here what if you're a year older you're fabulous oh you saw it oh brilliant but this works you know this works as well with any um little images i know the flower doesn't really go with that but hey ho it's for a girl so it's not quite so bad <laughs> um so i'm going to pop this one on the inside Try this on here in an espresso. Perfect. It'll do nicely. And then a happy birthday underneath it. Actually, it's my sister's birthday this week, and I've got a card to do for her, so she might just end up with this one. Um, let's try a melon member on top of that. That's happy birthday is quite a nice bold stamp. Let's wipe it down to Scott. The new debay on it. There we go. And 
I need to remember that the, um, the block is straight. Not the stamp. There we go. So what if you're a year older? You're fabulous. There we go. So I really think a few gems on there would look nice. So I'm going to um, open a new packet. Which guarantees I will find my packet, doesn't it, afterwards, do you think? Just going to use some of those. Perfect. For that purpose. And we're done, ladies and gents, if I've got any gents watching. So, just going to pick out. So I've got, this has got three different sizes of gems, our rhinestones. And they're perfect for adding just a little bit of interest to your cards. And these are nice because they're quite flat. So if you're posting in the UK, it won't cost you any extra in terms of the height of the card. Um, <laughs> here. There we go. Yep. I'm happy with that. So my um, thought process...